What is up guys? You ever wonder why you should never invest your money into governments or else you lose it? You're about to find out right now. Guys, it is your boy and today I want to talk about an event that happened that shocked the world. So, one of the Malaysian countries, they had an investment fund called the 1MDB. So what it is, is you can invest in them and then hopefully you'll get a return back. So, and this, this thing was like set up with the government and everything. So, you know, it's globally known. So yeah, yeah, and, and it was foreign. So, you know, Malaysia needed money. So they, they told everyone that, that, hey guys, we need some money so you guys can lend us some money. We'll give you guys interest in return. So a lot of people did, even people from the US, they did, they gave them money and, and then, you know, everyone's like hell happy. They're gonna go, oh damn, I'm about to get a quick buck and stuff like that. But the bad thing about that is if you lend someone all your money, you know, they can easily just say, too bad, dude, you, you know, I'm keeping it. And then you, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? You don't have control. You're just gonna well, go cry under your bed. Like, you know, when you trade stocks, you can control your risk. And right there, you can cut your losses like 2% or something like that. But, you know, if I go give my random money, my money, my hard-earned money to some random dude, uh, well, you can say a government, but compare, it's like the same thing as a random dude in the street. Because it happened in the past where the government just says, we're not gonna pay the bonds or whatever you guys gave us. And, you know, you can't do nothing. You could punch your wall or break your computer if you want, if that'll make you feel better, but it, it won't do nothing. So usually, so what happens is the past prime minister, he stole all the money, well most of the, the money of the funds, and now our government, the FBI is getting involved with them, and the prime minister of the past, they kicked them out, because you know, they told him, hey dude, you're useless, get out of here, you stole our money and stuff like that. And, you know, they got him out of power. And, and t until today, he's still saying that he wasn't involved in it, you know. Of course he is. He's saying that because if he's not, they'll probably, like, hang him or, or make him go to jail. So here's an article just talking about it that, you know, right here, that they would give you your money back if you let them borrow money and stuff like that. So that right now, what they're trying to do is find where the funds went. Like, did they throw them in the trash? Did they burn it? Did they hide underground? But no one's giving the information, you know, since... A a lot of our investors got invested in it, so they're trying to get their their money back, and they they can't since it's over there in Malaysia, pretty much. Or you can invest in random stuff if you want to, but like only put the amount you're willing to lose. Now you know if you lose like ten dollars from your pocket, like you won't care. Like for me, I invest in, in stuff like that too, but I put what I'm willing to lose. Like I'll put maybe a thousand or more. You know, I just go, okay, it's going to be gone. Maybe it could go 10,000% and stuff like that. You know, the potential, I'll risk the reward. Like, I could potentially have $50,000 in a year or less, you know, from a $500 investment or, you know, way more. Or I could lose my $500. So, it outweighs it. But if you just... A lot of people, like the... Like I saw their messages and stuff like that. They said that they lost their, their entire fortune and stuff like that because they invested in this. And the new prime minister is trying to say that, you know, he's going to try solving it and everything like that. But not much is getting done. So, uh, us had to get in. And there was countless countries that got involved right here in this article. It says there was like 10 countries. And you know, we're not talking about cents or pennies or thousands of dollars. Even it's like 2.5 billion. It's more than that. So, pretty much the lesson I'm trying to get to you guys is... You know, if someone, some random dude comes out to you or, you know, or government or something like that and they promise you, like, you, it will give you huge amounts of investments and stuff like that, don't, like, put all your money or something like that because you don't have control of it. You know, I can tell you right now, like, I could say, hey, dude, uh, give me your money and I'll give you a thousand percent and then, you know, I can just keep it and I could say, and you could tell me, hey, dude, what happened? And then I could just say, I don't know what you're talking about in there. You know, you can, you can come and, like, maybe kill me or something like that, but you'll go to jail for the rest of your life. Yeah, but it's pretty, but what can you do about the government? You can't kill the government, you know? There's not much to be done. If you try doing that, you'll probably get ki you'll get killed instead. So, that is not a great choice for that. So pretty much, control your money or just put as much as you're willing to lose and stuff like that. Or just trade stocks and you could risk your, your, your risk. And that is the lesson of the day. Later.